Before you start digging in the dirt, make sure you call 811 so nobody gets hurt. Our patio is all set. We figured all the elevation, all the lines are laid, all the lines are sprayed, and now we're ready to dig. I thought I was gonna use this shovel. Nah, we're gonna use this shovel. Okay, it's time to go. I hope you got one of these in your garage. If not, you can rent one, or you can always call a professional. Don't worry, I'm a professional. You're going to want to dig down 8 inches for your patio. That leaves about 3 inches for your sand and pavers and 6 inches for your base rock. That's going to give you 9 inches of material and 8 inches of excavation, which leaves you 1 inch above grade for proper drainage. That's it. We're done. And look, I didn't even get dirty. Use your hand shovel to square off your edges and corners. While you're at it, clean out your loose dirt and your debris. After all your hard work, this is what you get. Hey, where you been with my rock? Well, the rock's finally here. At least we can start fresh in the morning. Our first load of rock is here. For the first layer or lift, all we're gonna do is just spread it out evenly and make sure it's smooth. We're not gonna worry about elevation yet. Before you do your compaction, you might wanna water down your base first. It helps with the compaction, and also cuts down on that dust. This is a vibratory plate compactor. We're gonna use this to compact our base. When compacting, start at the outer edges and work inward. Then make overlapping passes back and forth and at 45 degree angles both ways. When you finish, you should have a somewhat smooth but compacted first layer. Our first layer of rock is down and compacted. Now that our second layer is here, we're going to take our time and make sure that this one's perfect. Before your pile gets low, make sure you save a wheelbarrow full of base rock to fill in some spots that you might have missed. Let me break this down for you. After I shovel all my rock, the first thing I'm going to do is rake it smooth with this gravel rake. After you've raked your gravel as smooth as possible, you're going to take a piece of wood, make sure it's nice and straight, about six feet long, and you're going to spread it out in a crossing pattern. Once you smooth it all out with the small one, break out the big one and make it even more smooth. Compact again. Start at the outer edges and work inward. Then start at the lowest elevation, making overlapping passes back and forth and at 45 degree angles both ways. After all the compaction's done, we're going to use this long board to check for any high or low spots. This is obviously a low spot. Can you see the sunlight coming through the bottom? Not good. Now remember, you've only got one chance to make this perfect, so take your time. After raking your high spots into your low spots, you may find you still have low spots. If so, use your board as a guide. Spray paint marks on both sides of any of the low spots. Do this along every foot of your base. Now you're going to connect the dots to define the area of your low spots. In our case we've got a low spot in the middle and it's fairly common. It's a good thing we saved this wheelbarrow of rock. We're just going to fill it in and then screed it off.
Now that we filled our low spots with rock, we're just gonna screed it level. Our rented plate compactor's gone. Gonna have to hand tamp this one. Once you've raked your high spots into low, low spots are filled, everything's compacted, the grade has been double checked and triple checked, you're finished when you don't see any sunlight coming from under that board. We've graded and compacted and graded and compacted and we've double checked everything a thousand times. The next time you see me, we're gonna be laying pavers. <laughs>